This time on Weekend Rental, we try Brawlout, a platform fighter for PC, as well as some other platforms. Uh, it came out in 2016, but we're playing it here in 2021. Before we get to our reviews, I'll run some clips from our gameplay session. We'll see you after the break. Uh, it was preset, uh, it was preset B that I liked, not A. I do not like preset A. I was just pile driven. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm a cool frog. Guacamelee's got his moves from Guacamelee, so that's cool. Which one's Guacamelee? Uh, it's the it's me. Uh, he's like yeah. yeah, he's green and blue and pink. Okay, so there's like a dodge like smash. Yeah, but there's no block like smash. You have to dodge all attacks, I guess. You like A more? Yeah. No. Well. uh... I like the other one <laughs> more. I don't know which one I'm on anymore. <laughs> I preferred it. I didn't say I liked it. Big, big boom shakalaka. Oh! I feel like I'm struggling to find anything with my character other than just kicking. <laughs> oh, you're the bunny <laughs> thing? Yeah. Yeah. That seems lame. <laughs> it plays well, but oh, it does you get that up kick. shit for damage. Teleport, that's my. Oops, fell off the ledge, didn't mean to. <laughs> I did it again. Ah. It's good not to get punched by everybody. Yeah. One goal in these games. Yeah. Alright, you. Whoa, are you Blanca? Here, here, you just got Blanca. Ah, yeah, I did. <laughs> you got blanca <laughs> oh, I did. Good lord. He... Yeah, it's pretty much Blanca. Checking that tutorial too. There's no crouch attacks. No, there's not. Or crouch uh, state. And I gotta remember. Okay. No, I'm opening some pinatas right now. Oh, you got loot oh, boxes. This... Yeah. Nice. Damn. Oh, I have a fire thing on me. What does that mean? All right. From fire. How far did you get in that tutorial? I don't. Oh. I, I didn't get anywhere in it. Oh, Ed did it though. I uh, I got to the point where they're telling me how to jump and attack and <laughs> okay. just doing all the basic stuff, and I was like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. When we all get up close, like we're fighting, they uh, they make the names go away. Yeah, focus on the action. Yeah, the fight, get in the fight. Where the, where the action is. What level? This level is cool. I like that the hula hoop has eyes on it. Yeah, it's very. Nothing happens what when I go through it. No, it doesn't do anything. It could happen. I, don't even think, I think you just clip through it, too. You don't even go through it. <laughs> My finishing move is a Monty Python reference. Do you think this is, do you think this is British? No, I don't, actually. <laughs> it, it looks like it might be imitating. Yeah, this is, this is written by, like, three indie guys who just live in Austin somehow. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, I really think our game's gonna take off. Yeah. I was roommates with the guy who made Shovel Knight, you heard of that? Heard of that? Didn't get him for this, but... <laughs> didn't even hit hard enough to fucking... I think I hit you while we were falling. Alright, this is alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. Cool. <laughs> like, insane. Fucking King Kong the shit out of us. Here and pretend I know what moves are. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah. How that happened? Oh. Like this yeah. one level. Everybody looks the same Wait. on this stage. I have it confused. <laughs> yeah, I find this game hard to read as well. <laughs> like, I think it's because like, like the red. Yeah. Is washing over everybody. And I kind of need the colors to discern which character I am. I definitely need the colors to discern who I am. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, don't pick the guy with the big red fucking cape and orange clothes. <laughs> Is there a set? I, I hope there's a setting to like always show the names. Because that would help. I think that should, yeah, that needs to be in pretty much everything. Oh, you have to like stand still to get the belt? Yes. Oh. Or be the only one there? I thought it was like uh, uncontested. Yeah. You're right, yeah. It's like King of the Hill. <laughs> wow, we I have. I hate that 
this game isn't like just outright shitty. Cause like it, it's. It, I wish it was shitty. It'd be better if it was shitty. Kind of fun, yeah. Like I, I'm have, not having a, the worst time that I've had playing like, a game. Yeah, it is mindless. I'll, I'll put it. Yeah. The controls are good. It doesn't. It doesn't fuck up in a way that I want it to fuck up. And like. Yeah, yeah I could. I could really just trash it if it was uh, a little bit worse. But there's there's that problem with me where it's like it's not doing anything <laughs> <laughs> like no, go on, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're after a good start. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a, I call this a, 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 a fucking brain conundrum, but um it uh, It's gotta be either good or like it, you can't like be well made and just Really fucking boring and kind of, eh. It, this just feels like someone literally like made one of the provided templates in Unity and said, "Let's go with it." Yeah, it makes you ask, "Why am I applying this?" <laughs> that, well, that's like I, I wasn't joking when I literally said earlier, like, "Why aren't we just playing Smash at that point?" Because it's like there, this doesn't do anything like weird, quirky, or unique, and like no one goes, "Oh, fucking grub ukulele." Oh, can't can't wait, can't wait to go back to that. Yeah, yeah, I want to see how ukulele plays. And if you're, you should ukulele is fun to play as. Um, it's okay. It is. No, nah, I, I wasn't talking about the game. I was talking about the character. The game sucks. Yeah, it kind of does. The actually. sequel's good. The second one's good. I mean, it it, it sucks in a way no. you might like if you're like, I want to play Banjo Kazooie, but I don't. It is. But if you want to play Banjo Kazooie, you probably want to play Banjo Kazooie. You don't. Banjo -Kazooie. Yeah, you you want that shit to run at nine frames a second and take for fucking ever to do anything and have. I played some Banjo Kazooie this year. Why? How do I have no pinatas? Should wow. I? Oh, you got no pinatas? I would have to well, buy it and it would spend all my gold. Round, so. Yeah, terribly. So, w what we are here to discuss today is Brawl Out, uh, this indie platform fighting game uh, on Steam. I think it's on PS4. It's probably on Xbox One, maybe Switch. Uh, Angry Mob Games, but um, to start us off, I'm actually going to kick us off today. Overall, you know, this does check all the boxes for what a platform fighting game should do, I think, uh, but I've got to say I would avoid it. Uh, it's just decent enough to make you question whether or not you should keep playing it or, you know, whether you're justified in still playing it. The game mechanics feel good. You hit people. They fly around, you know, you pursue them to try to knock them off the stage. It's typical Smash Bros. type of stuff. But, um, you know, no matter how much work they put into it to build it out, to have a robust online, to have replays, loot boxes, uh, in-game economy, uh, it just kind of ends up lacking heart or charm that you might find in another indie fighting game like this. Um, it's uh, trying to present itself as what seems like a corporate game, but it um, it just loses what it means to be indie when it's doing that, I guess. It's it's uh, probably the most hipster way to look at this game, but really I've played a bunch of games like this. I've played Slap City and, um, what is it called, Rivals of Ether, and both of those have way more heart and charm than this game can have, and they still have guest characters for the most part. Uh, the only thing that got me to play this was the fact that Guacamelee and Dead Cells and um, some other indie games are in it, but uh, once I was past them, I was just looking at a Hall of Strangers and didn't know what to make of it. Um, overall, yeah, it's an avoid. The points are as, what you, as you see here, but it's a two. It's not a terrible game. It's definitely not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, so there are other options that you could go to when you're looking for something like this. Um, but I'm wondering, Neo Sense, were you looking for something like this tonight, or did this not hit the mark for you? Uh, Filter, I gotta say, I pretty much agree with you. This is a, I give it a two overall, and then avoid. This is a swing and a miss. It is all there. It's polished. It looks as good as it, in its style, <laughs> as good as it's going to look. I, I didn't totally love the art. Style. It's a little mundane, but it is technically well done. I had some issues with reading the the 
the fights sometimes where my player was located more specifically and overall the the whole thing just sort of bled into one big goop of similar colors but the biggest issue i had was i wasn't sure why i would ever want to play this game and that's a pretty bad issue there's so many you touched on something i guess like authenticity or or heart genuine quality to it and this is entirely lacking that that it's sort of like they know all the things that should be in a game like this and they have put them in but there's really no nothing driving this machine it's 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 utterly um without style uh yeah wish it was good but it, it wasn't uh, i'm curious to hear what diamond time has to say about this game well i don't have i don't have anything um terribly different to say about it. I feel like you guys are hitting all the marks there. This game, yeah, big dud for me too. I gave it an extra 0.5 in the overall. I, I've got my Garfield somewhere between uh, uh, half the half mass eyelid smile and uh, the grouch, Garfield the grouch face. Um, I don't know why. It could probably get a one, honestly, but it, it's got everything that it needs to to make somebody buy it for a buck and a half um looks fine you know oh, oh and there's there's characters that i like from those games there's the hyperlight drifter guy and dead cells you all know the character dead cells um you know it's exciting to see them in there and then you you start to play as them and feeling like you're playing as those characters in the game is not what you end up experiencing really what i was looking for out of it i'm sure anybody buying the game would be looking for the same experience um yeah fleshed out it's got it's got loot boxes it's got i i, I found it strange that they gave you the option to do couched multiplayer separately from from uh, online multiplayer and not with no ability to do both at the same time maybe that's difficult i don't know i'm no expert but uh yeah, I would definitely avoid this game. There are, as as stated before, plenty of other options um, that feel like they are much less lacking in substance. When you hit somebody in this game, it doesn't really feel like you hit somebody in this game. Uh, when you're on the screen with multiple characters, who knows what's going on? And I guess that makes me appreciate other games of the genre more. I have no idea how they accomplished those things. Um, this one certainly did not, and uh, I don't know how, how, how much I could blame them for that necessarily, but that's not really what I want to think about while I'm playing a game that's supposed to just be really easy to pick up and play. Um, what do you have to say about it, Pants Problems? Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> similar take. Uh, I mean, it's it's a Smash-like for what it's worth. Um, I mean, it's clean, well-made, I guess, I guess a fighter. Uh, my biggest issue with just how is how barren it is and how safe it is. Um, it doesn't really do anything neat, unique, or new. Simply the bare minimum with loot boxes. Uh, it just it basically just takes the source material, which I guess is Smash Brothers in this instance, and makes it video game. There really aren't any new features, unique characters, or interesting gameplay elements to build on. It's just kind of a copy paste. It's well executed, but doesn't really give anyone any reason to play it over the reference material. Like, I don't see anyone saying, boy, I would just rather play this than, you know, any of the other options. It just doesn't offer anything. It's a difficult game to really talk about a review because it's not inherently bad. I just don't understand why it exists. And that's, you know, the long and short of it. It's, it's not awful. It just it's it's very confusing uh but yeah that's that's pretty much what i got to say about it <laughs>